Because of Aaron Rodgers, right, and not just that the throws were impeccable, the mobility, the fact that Aaron Rodgers was moving around and looked so spry, to me, jet ceiling elevated last night. There were so many things that you love about this. First of all, you know, and you watch the games, you know the stats, so I'm not going to bore you with that, but... Optically, how many times, and I guess this goes into the SOJ stuff, so how many times have you sat down as a Jets fan and it's the exact opposite script where yeah. you never possess the ball, the other team basically doubles you up in yardage, basically triples or a little bit more, triples you up in in, in, in first downs. I mean, everything. the Jets look like a well-oiled, precise, talented, cohesive, well-coached team. Well, uh, a couple things with Solomon, right. which I'll get to later. But I thought Ulbrich was on the money. I thought Hackett was on the money coming out, forcing tempo. Throwing the football right out of the game. And it was fun, man. And you got to love that. fun. Yeah, I mean, how about that? It was a fun night at Jet Life Stadium. And the thing that I took away the most from it, BT, was in the postgame. We saw on the field, like, like you said, we saw some dominance from the defense. We saw the offense do things that we haven't seen the Jets offense do. I mean, not only the Jets. That's good in in real terms. This year will look good, at least last night. In real terms, this year, 2-1, and one, good start to the season. But in comparison to what we've seen from this organization in years past, I mean, it is night and day. It is refreshing. Jet fans can't believe their eyes. They actually have a quarterback. But the number one thing for me that I took from the game was in the post game last night with these comments from Aaron Rodgers. It's expectations. If the expectation is winning, then we're going to celebrate it, but we should expect a win. Um, the next step is expecting to dominate. Think about that. Oh, man. Expect gives me goosebumps. Yeah, well, all right, the expectation is winning. We should expect to win. The next step, expecting dominance. Something that I talked about going into the Week 2 game. Now, maybe I was a little premature, as you said. Hey, let's have some patience here. And you saw Week 2, even though they didn't play their best game, they got the win. Last night, you saw a dominant performance. And now, Roger says... That's the next step, expecting dominance. That is, that's a beautiful thing right there. Yeah, you, you just don't hear that with the Jets there. In each game, they've gotten better. Uh, and you really start to see how diverse they are. Like last night, from an offensive perspective, both running backs could obviously catch the ball. But Braylon, I mean, Allen is just, yeah, wow. Beast. I mean, we knew that against Tennessee, but you see it more last night. So they've got this very, you know, eclectic, dynamic backfield. Rodgers looks like Rodgers. Mike Williams getting a little more involved. You know, it's funny, too, because Garrett Wilson, the irony here is that you would think that they would be on the same page. They're not even clicking yet. They're not even full. Now, that, that dime at the pylon yeah, wasn't yeah. said. That, I, I think that, if, you know, outside of maybe, maybe one or two other quarterbacks, that's, 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 six, that's six points the other way. I mean, that's picked off and probably brought back down the sideline to the house. That throw was insane. The defense now, that's why I mentioned Old Brick. I thought, and we talked about this going into the game. Hey, they can't pass. They got nothing there. So you just sell out against the run, and you see Will McDonald get yep. loose again. The Jets stopping him on third down. A ton of sacks like Chuck Clark making plays. If the Jets, if the if, 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 if the Jets can keep Rodgers healthy, they can go to the Super Bowl. You know, it's why I'm glad we didn't overreact to week one together as a show. And I know there were some people like, oh, come on. You guys didn't get into him. Mike. Time out. The most important thing from that game, I know the defense got run over, but the most important thing from that game was knowing that you have Aaron Rodgers. Think about this, BT. We talked about the excellent throws and what he does. You don't even worry about him making a mistake. I know. He doesn't throw interceptions. Now, he may throw a few yeah. throughout the course of the year, but think about what we're accustomed to seeing with the Jets quarterbacks. They couldn't read the defense. They couldn't make a decision. With Rodgers, it's not about not reading the field. It's about, all right, maybe he missed that throw by a, a, an inch or yeah, the yeah. receiver. Not that he didn't get see it. Or there was good. He just he, didn't put he, it through a keyhole he, for the first time all night. Exactly. I know. He's making the right reads, the right decisions, the right throws. He doesn't make mistakes. He's been goosebumps again thinking about it, how far we've come. You appreciate it even more if you're a Jet fan because you've watched the slop and the pathetic play for years. And now you go from that to one of the all-time greats. We were all robbed of it last year, unfortunately. And that kind of fed into the moniker, same old Jets. They're never going to have anything nice. Well, through three games so far, 2-1, and one, which is the start that most people had penciled in. Yes. And Rodgers maybe even looks better than most people thought. Well, that's why I thought perspective. That was the, that was the word I was thrown around a lot. You yeah. know, perspective for the Jets going into the season, perspective 
after the Niners uh, basically kicked their face in. Perspective after the Titans win because if Will Levis was a little bit more buttoned up, Jets could have been down multiple scores. They would have absolutely been down multiple scores, and who knows, they lose the game. And even a little perspective today. And the perspectives, now, but, but the perspective changes because what Aaron Rodgers showed the entire country last night, there was, there was not a football observer who wasn't sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm not feeling hot, man. Um, so I, I know I know. Yeah, up over yeah, there. Yeah, I have medicine. medicine. I never take medicine. Oh. I'm just, well, whatever, nobody cares. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm good to go. I'll fight through it. But Don't we be all, me sick now. Well, no, maybe no, you no, made no, me no, sick no, because no. your wife had COVID. That's maybe. why I said you keep blaming me. I didn't have it. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, okay. uh, and we all knew, every football <laughs> observer knew that Aaron Rodgers would throw the ball, okay? The question, throw the ball well. Throw the, throw the ball like Aaron Rodgers this year. The two questions with Rodgers. Number one, would he have enough time to do it? Offensive line, Jella Nice. Yeah. Number one. And by the way, Simpson's got a little dog in him. Yeah. He's. A, I know you were at the game and you missed things yeah, when you were at the see. game. Yeah. But there was a little bit of a late hit and Simpson got right up in his mug without doing something stupid and getting flagged like I thought they showed real restraint. But they're, Is like, that the one where there were two penalties on a play? Uh, that one down the field? Dude, no, Rogers, I, think, Rogers I don't think hit, it was that play. Rogers got hit a couple times late. He got, yeah, one, one was, was definitely was late. One he was fine with early oh, on. He's, oh. and, and he even told um, a few teammates were going toward the Patriots. But he's like, come on, dude. I, 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 let's go. Let's play football. Yeah. It wasn't a real hit, which I thought was cool. But you had to protect him. And it's a long season. So far, the old line looks good. And could he move? Now, Sal, if, if we came in here today and the Jets won by a similar score and out, you know, out, out first downed them and out yarded them and everything that they did, but Rodgers didn't show this burst and this bounce – I'd still be pumped and I'd still be happy, right. but I have a little more restraint. He looked young. Yeah, he's not going to look like he he did, you know, in his No, no, 30s, he did, though. In his early 30s. Well, still, I think Rodgers, you know, some he, of those plays. He where, did. Some of those plays where he turns it up the field for a few yards could have been bigger gains back then. Like, I like the fact that he's mobile. I'm not going to go nuts and say he's. <laughs> like, Rodgers, one of his great strengths was his quickness and mobility and his nimble. All, all the but never 40 or 50 yard runs. Yeah, more like, no, let me I extend know, the still, pocket. Right now, I think it's just the, the fact that he could be mobile, period, would be good But it's for me. massive. I, I know. Well, well, yes, because, of course, a broken down pass play is just tuck it and run a little bit with it. You don't need to get nuts. I, obviously, you don't want to see a lot of that. Mm. But the fact that he still got that in him, Correct. which was nice. As he said, he started to feel like his old self, yeah. which is nice. I got a staff for I'm going to get these calls. Yeah. And I, man, it's, it's, it's probably odd dropping a stat out of the shoot here. But so next-gen stats, okay. right? And this pertains to his quickness or at least how willing he was to run last night. First, yeah. you got to be willing. Then he got to hold up. Then he got to look good doing it. Check, check, check. So next-gen stats. They did not do this during the game. I saw this on social media this morning. So he ran, okay? Last night was the most Aaron Rodgers sprinted in a game, okay, since 2018. Well, wow. what, what the hell does that mean? A sprint is defined by anything that goes above 12 miles per hour or more, all right? And he sprinted 136 yards. Obviously not all forward, yeah, 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 not yeah. running back. Right. Laterally, backwards, the, you know, 15, 16 games that he, uh, yards that he actually got, uh, extended the pocket. The most yards sprinted since sprint. I don't know why I can't say that word. Yeah. Sprinted since 2018. So, again, He's not 25, he's not 30, but I'll tell you what, if I just flipped on yeah. the game last night, I would have never thought he got hurt, and I would have thought he was about 32. Which he is looked a, awesome. Which is a thing of beauty. And being on hand, like I didn't know, I haven't been to a Jets game in years, that they do the, it's another Jets, first down. Yeah. And as I'm thinking, as I'm there, like, it, it just kept happening. You got to hear it a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. And I'm like, good God, like I've watched Jets games for years yeah. and haven't seen this, but it felt, it felt like... I haven't seen that many first downs in games, maybe even in seasons, and it just kept happening. They kept, they kept moving the ball like with ease, like a real football team should do. That, that was the beautiful thing about it. You sit down last night in the stadium on the couch, and you know you're sitting there. You say not that like they were like you know seventy yard bombs, like like the yeah, Darnold right. Je- Jefferson play, but the execution, the precision, the intelligence, the, just the overall approach. I really thought Hackett had a really good night. Jets look good. BT and Sal on the fan are friends of Town Fair Tyree. My you that a Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Justin is calling from Cedar Grove, New Jersey. What's up, Justin? Good morning, gentlemen. How are we? How are you? Hey, man. Good. 
Good. Hey, Brandon, you just brought up a stat. I'll give you one. Braylon Allen, college, senior, uh, his last year in college, yeah. 63% of his yards came after contact. That's like tackling a, a, a cement post. <laughs> it's just nice to see. I mean, watching him run, and listen, this is no disrespect to Brees Hall, but it looks like when Allen runs, the whole pile moves. It does. Three to four yards. It does. I mean, it's, you know, and, and Justin, I was, I, was, I was trying to explain to my son last night. I'm like, listen, this is why this is so advantageous because when you, there was one, I forget, it was early, there was one play where Allen just, whomever he rocked, he rocked, right? And he, he had no business getting even four yards, but he did. And I yep. said, hey, I said, what happens here is now you get to the third quarter, fourth quarter, those guys are, it's like a, a, a thousand little punches or jabs in a boxing match. They don't want to get in the way anymore. They, they, they're they going to start making business to say, over the course of the year. People are going to want to stop tackling this guy. And then it opens up for Brees, and then he's got, I mean, it's, there's a lot of possibilities here at this yep. team. Yeah, that that play I think you were talking about, he was hit either at or behind the line of scrimmage and yep. ended up being like, I don't know, one or two yard gain. So my actual question was, um, Mosley going out. I know he's captain, all pro, team leader in just my eyes, and who and who am I to make a comment? It almost looks like the defense has gotten quicker mm. and more aggressive in his absence. And I'm not trying to start a problem, but I know. With Sterwood and Quincy Williams in the in the middle, yep. it looks like it's been improved. And last night's game you know as well as I do, being a long-time Jets fan, that's a game they either lose late or let them hang around. Last night, complete opposite. Bury him, bury him early, stick him in the dirt, good night. They could have so, won 40 to, 40, to three, 40 to whatever. Come I mean, on. Go in and we knew that game had to be what it was last We night. said it. I used the word destruction. It and was, statistically, well, there was never a doubt. It was non-competitive. Not one. It was non-competitive for a change from the Jets' perspective. Yeah. They, the Patriots were not competitive, which is great they in favor there. of the Jets. Well, let me, let me just let me just defend C.J. Mosley here, yeah. who yeah, is so, yeah, right. outstanding. Yeah. Now, do they look a little quicker? Obviously, Quincy can move, and obviously McDonald's moving, and Sherwood definitely showed some bounce here. C.J. Mosley is fantastic. He's like kind of Aaron Rodgers from that cerebral perspective. He's the quarterback on defense, obviously. So he's going to – and they're very, very high on him getting back against Denver. Like, I think that – This is the like, right move. They knew it was a lesser opponent. I, I think that he probably – and we didn't think he was going to play, but I think that he could have played if it was a different situation. Salah basically said that. He, I, I, think, oh, I didn't even hear him say I think that. He, he basically said it after. Okay. Like, he's like – I forget the exact words, but I was listening to the post game driving home, and he alluded to the fact like that he thought Mosley probably could have given it a go, but he was just like, I don't want to risk it. Good, good. Right third, now, they're smart. Third yeah. game in eleven days. Now, if you take that risk, you better make sure you win. The defense looked great. They need CJ Mosley. He is he is terrific. Well, He's a great pro. To the caller's point, I'm not going to agree or disagree with him with that, but the defense. Specifically against the run was better without Mosley. Now you also look at it's the Patriots. They, they had two that. rookies on the yeah. offensive line, yeah. left so, and right so side. I just want to see. I, I, I just want to see Mosley come back yep. and the Jets look like a dominant defense. That's all. Ray is in Babylon. What's up, Ray? What a great morning it is, fellas. That's right. We Ray. finally got the we got the monkey off of our back. It feels so good. Hmm. I, I don't want to be you know a negative Jets fan. I just wish. We would have had Belichick, but it was just so sweet to with uh, Robert Kraft being there witnessing his team crumble. Yeah. Hassan, Reddick, Hassan Reddick can take his bags and pack them and leave. Oh, yeah, take them. it easy, buddy. Oh, now yeah, all of a sudden the leverage, the leverage is back in take favor of the Jets. Oh, yeah. sure it is. The pendulum and listen, swings. This, this, this is, what, what did we see last night that really, really was a determinative factor? Two things. One. Rodgers controlled the tempo of that game. Yes. Look at our time of possession. He took his time. I love the graphic with uh, the laser precision eyesight that uh, Rodgers had and the way he was reading the field and going through his progressions. He controlled the tempo of the game. And, Sal, you said it. It was those first downs. I've never seen so many first downs. I, I mean, think about it. It's football, Ray. That happens with real teams, with real offenses. And thank you for the call. They actually moved the football and got first downs, driving the ball. Not just one big play, a broken play. That's the aberration. Yep. Driving, like Zach. Correct. Driving the football. That is how you win games. Control the clock. Control the tempo. Move the chains. That's the recipe. Now, again, I know it's the Patriots. I know it's only week three. But the Jets with Rodgers and the other weapons starting to improve. You're seeing it here. Mm-hmm. We get Conklin, tight ends involved. Yeah, Rucker. More on that later. But, yes, getting the tight ends involved. 
that combined with the defense being at a playing at a high level, whether it's top three, top five, whatever we get to see, that's the recipe for this team being a Super Bowl team. Well, remember, Sal, after the Niners game and even, you know, remnants of the Titans game, yeah. we discussed that and I got back from Tennessee. I said, I don't I don't think the Jets are going to be a top three defense this right. year. And I don't. And I right. still don't. I don't. Which I think ultimately would be a problem if they're not. But go ahead. Okay. But, and, and ordinarily, I would agree with you. But what I, if you recall what I said, the Jets, they don't need to be a top five offense. And they won't be. But if the Jets are a back end top 10 or top 11 or top 12-ish offense, and the defense takes three, four, five steps back, meaning instead of being third or second, they're seventh or eighth. How many NFL teams, I'm just throwing numbers yeah. out, but you see the point, how many NFL teams can lay claim to the fact that they're top 10 offense and defense? Right. So I, while the defense will, I, I think it'll just kind of inch backward a tick because I do think they're vulnerable against good teams with the run. All right? I mean, the the, the Patriots were so predictable and such a one-trick I mean, Brissett, I felt badly for the guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so you, you're not seen Jacoby Brissett and, this, and, and two rookies on the O-line every week and no receivers that scare anybody. So the Patriots are awful. They're going to win two, three games the whole year. But if the defense steps back a little bit, but the offense steps forward, not to the Chiefs level, mm -hmm. although they could, right. not to the number two or number three spot, I think they might be, might be, among the top two or three most balanced teams in football. Which is great. I've just felt like the Jets to separate themselves. Thinking big picture down the road playoffs. Like, if they are going to beat the Bills and the Chiefs and whoever else may be the top teams in the AFC at that time, I believe it's going to be the defense. Because defense ultimately wins. And they have the potential to be a dominant defense. They've shown that in the past. Now when you combine a real offense to go along with it. That's where you start having some fun thinking about the possibilities of what this team could be. Rob is in Tom's River. What's up, Rob? Gentlemen. I oh, am, boo. Whoa, whoa. I am so, so, so happy. BT, you're going to appreciate this. My, my fiance and I, we've been together seven years. We're watching the game on the couch. Last How night. long you wait? Turns there, around there, and looks at se me. Seven years. I mean, it's, just get married already, dude. Sorry. Wait, hold on. We got <laughs> engaged in May. Yeah. We got engaged in May. I, oh, okay. We've been said, together seven gotcha. years. Gotcha. Uh, she turns around and looks at me, and she goes, is this what it's like to be good? And yeah. it, the, <laughs> the, man, the man is a savant. He, he really, really is. And we are, we're so lucky to have him. This is the best quarterback play I've seen on the Jets in my entire life. Me too. Granted, I'm young. I'm a young man. But this is just incredible. Well, I'm not a young man, and, and I agree. Yeah. I mean, and you, Rob, that's it. I mean, yeah. this, this is what, now again, it, it, okay, I want to be careful here, not just reacting to based on what we've seen watching the Jets for years versus what we see now. So there, there is a big difference because we're going to over get overly excited because it's just so far better than anything else we've ever seen with the Jets in recent years. We'll see the real competition when they start to play better teams and to build whatever it may be. But you're also you're talking about one of the great players of all time. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, you're going from... Like, historically bad in Zach Wilson mm. and Sam Darnold and yep. others before him. I know. To historically great, even at the age of 40. There, there, it's not like a nice buildup and in between. I know. This is like... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> I, I just had an off-color joke. I was going to slide in there that uh, would have been really yeah, funny. Be careful. But, uh, we'll get us no, in trouble. No, 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 the no, outhouse no, no, to no, the no, penthouse. No, no. Listen, I think that, you know, it's funny. He said his fiance asked the question, is this what it's like to be good? You know, and, and I told you the story how, you know, all these years, you know, I'm sitting on the couch, and basically the only thing that I enjoyed about football Sundays was the roast beef and the mozzarella and the sandwiches. And my wife, who's a big Cowboys fan, would always say, why do you, why do you defend Zach on, on the radio? He stinks. <laughs> Which would just drive me up the wall because yeah. I knew deep down that she was right. And here at 17 3, whomever, third quarter, Jets have five first downs. They possess the ball for 10 minutes. And I'm hearing it from my wife, not Tiki or right, you. Right, right. I'm hearing it from my wife, right? <laughs> Last night, she goes like this She goes, when we're laying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep, she goes, You guys might have something this Whoa, year. I said, Let's yeah. go turn the lights back on. <laughs> 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 wow. yeah, right. I got something for you. All right, get in on the action with Jack.